Well, here we go, folks, with an exciting matchup here at NDA Team Dart 2023. Garrett Rakowski, Nico Kurz. Third place here. Who's going to come out on top? Yeah, this is going to be in as enticing as it sounds here. As the, those that were paying attention there saw that these guys were having some fun. Nico and Garrett having a little bit of a laugh here, but now it's all serious for these fellas. <laughs> you can tell Nico's kind of a little bit serious here. When he plays, yes, they were laughing and joking just a minute ago, but now it's all game face for him. Garrett here trying to see if he can take away those 20s at some point but it's going to be hard pressed to do so until he finds that 19 okay, went up there after feeling blocked dart hanging overhead tries to get underneath it and does so but only to a single yeah, pretty good little pretty good little crowd staying around for this one as we got some German fans we also have some of the North Dakota folks in the background keeping an eye on things, supporting Garrett, I'm assuming. I think a little bit of just, everyone's just watching this great match here. Everyone's just so excited by the darts right now and just want to keep enjoying the stuff that we've been seeing. Be excellent if he finds one more. Hitting that single in the last start there. Gets this game pretty much dead even, but Nico's still the pilot of this plane. Big triple to open up. Down to the 17s. How about a little bit more? Big darts there. An eight mark is what it counts as. See Garrett giving a little love and approval for that shot. There's no more laughing and joking from the bullet right now. He knows he needs to bring his best and he needs to stay full focus. Couple big darts there. Still not enough to get him in the lead, but got a quick quick thought that Nico will try to take these out here first start. I'm, that's what I assume, but he may go 17s to 16s. Yeah, all Garrett can do at this point is wait for an error from Nico. Now back to 16s. No, stays right there. Smart darts from Nico to kind of extend that lead out a little bit. Yeah, 130 point difference here is going to make this very hard for Garrett to close the distance. Tough go there for... Garrett only coming up with two. So Kurz can just, three fat singles really would be just fine here. Catching that wire, just going to stay right in the same area. And that's exactly, as you said, Will, three singles. Yeah, no harm, no foul if he just hits the big fat wedge here. Garrett's trying to call a shot in the background here. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the man is having fun. He, That's without a doubt. Yeah, Garrett's one of those guys that he can get serious. There's no doubt about it, but he also has fun playing the game. Another one? No, just on the high side. One hole outside into the trip 10. Yeah, he really needed that last one there to make it within a single mark point difference. Nico can really make this hurt. And a great last start there. Nico Kurz is showing right now why he's one of the best, not just in this room, but internationally.
Goes some down in the 17s. You can tell Nico wants another opportunity at Jules. I can assure you that is the case here. Jules not messing around as he's going to be warming up religiously, waiting for the opportunity to see how this final turns out for him. Well, we got still 300 plus viewers right now, and it is 1:30 a.m. local time, 4:30 in the morning East Coast time. Garrett with a tough dart here as he's kind of blocked himself out. See if he can get this underneath. He'll take the smart play, go for the 17s. I mean, it is an option when you think you don't have that shot at the bull. Just get rid of that number and hope and pray that Nico misses. But And six bulls does give him a game shot here, so it's an outside chance, although I don't think he's going to get an opportunity to see it. Yeah, no way. No way. 1-0. Nico in the, this third place match here at NBA Team Dart 2023. Just a reminder, Jules Van Dongen currently sits on the king of the hill spot. So, winner will face him next. Yeah, Garrett's going to need to come up swing in here as he had a soft start there. Big handshake from these guys, a deep breath from Garrett. Let's see if he's able to up his performance from that last league. Garrett's going to have to have a big leg here, I feel. And that is a great start. Seven mark on the 20s. Nico's going to try to match that seven. Exactly what he does. Matches it. Indeed. Yeah, when we were in between matches here waiting for this one to set up, the players were coming up there and some of the Germans even said, this is incredible stuff right now. Just these guys are playing some of their best starts. Goes on the safe route and continuing the points on that third dart there, following up with another seven mark. Nico really forcing Garrett to hit perfect darts here, <laughs> and that's exactly what he did there. Great 180. Again, seven mark for Nico. Three in a row. Garrett done with this battle here. Of course, with that hanger on the 20, he wanted to go ahead and get that dart over to the 19. Has one chance to get the point lead back. Ah, difficult. So, Nico, looking at trip 18 here. If he get it a four mark, does he take a look? I think he'll stay here, try to hit six. It perfect. He's looking. Perfect. Nico with a subtle fist pump there is that's exactly what he needed. Garrett with a sign of approval. Yeah, game, respect, game. Bad time for a miss here as these guys have been near perfect up until this point, but that is a fatal timing there for Garrett. Ooh. 
Oopsies. Got a little button happy there. Do you know the worst that Nico has shot this league is a 7 mark, by the way? Four of them and one at 9 mark here. This is uh, incredible stuff that we're seeing. So I'm hearing a, a board in the background. I was trying to get a look. And I hit the wrong button, but I think Jules is out there hitting triple <laughs> after triple after triple. <laughs> Garrett's just trying to do what he can, but when your opponent's playing perfect, what can you do? Wow. Does get the close there. Nico is going to be basically three bulls away from the win. Even if Garrett hits all six here, would only tie. There he is right there. Just kind of told you. I, I knew I heard him in the background. He's definitely warming up, getting ready for that final. Kerr's just needing the three. Just want to say he is human there. This is the first time he's missed something he's aiming at. I believe that was actually six bulls there for Garrett. He wants to make sure. Yep, so he's going to have to register it. Brandon, Brandon Perez. Yeah, Brandon Perez steps up and helps him out. He's very familiar with these boards. This is his common board that he uses, so he's quick to do that one for him. Well, six bulls there from Garrett, showing that he has that never say die mentality. is not going to mess around here. Yeah, he's going to extend out that lead. 110. Well, it's also just that respect that he has for Garrett, knowing the fact that he is just so capable at any point. If you give him an inch, he'll run you for a mile. to look here he will big double single to win and there we go Nico Cruz is in the final where he will play Jules Van Dongen in just a moment's time